Hey everybody, thanks for watching. As you see from the title of the video, uh, I'm doing a review on East Coast Cotton today on a t-shirt that I bought uh, a little over a week ago. Um, you haven't heard much from me. I've been in Florida for a week with the family enjoying the beach and the Tampa Bay uh, Rays game and the Yankees and um, just taking it easy, getting away from work, getting away from everything. Uh, but I will tell you, I've, I really, really miss shooting. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it was really windy today, so I didn't get out, but I'm going to uh, tomorrow, get, get back to the range. And uh, I've got a product coming up I'm going to be testing, so you guys can, can check that out. I'll do that tomorrow. So look over the next four or five days for that review. So um, the shirt I purchased from East Coast Cotton was this one. And I love the colors. Um, my rights don't end where your feelings begin. Don't tread on me. I love the colors. I love the theme. Love the idea. And uh, more importantly, I love the truth behind it. <clears throat> my rights don't end where your feelings begin. And uh, I just, I loved it from the beginning. I thought, what a sweet shirt that is. And uh, I've got other ones of these, back-to-back -back World War Champ um, t-shirt. Uh, my Trump 2016 shirt got a lot of attention late last year. I still wear that one. And then um, a Veterans Before Refugees t-shirt. So I don't have a lot of them, but I've got a few. And so, you know, when I buy something like this and I spend close to 30 bucks shipped, you know, for a long sleeve t-shirt that here in Indiana we get a lot of use out of, I don't expect it to um, have flaws. And what happened was <clears throat> I wore this one time to uh, a men's church event and uh, I washed it, dried it, took it out of the drawer a couple few weeks later to wear it again. And I noticed this. Yes, those are holes. Unacceptable. That shirt was worn once, washed once, dried once, put in a drawer, taken out, and not worn again, and ended up with holes like that. And so I get a hold of the company, East Coast. I sent them an email, and I was very cordial. As a matter of fact, I could show you right there on the laptop behind me. I was very cordial in my email to them and I basically didn't ask for a refund. I just said, explained the situation. I wore it once to a church event, washed it, dried it, pulled it out of the drawer and noticed it had holes. Um, is this something you'd replace? <clears throat> they answer back and they say, um, no, they won't replace it. That it's uh, not an unworn condition and basically you need to take it up with the manufacturer of the shirt. So here's a company that buys hundreds of these, maybe thousands of shirts from a company like Gildan, one of the largest t-shirt manufacturers in the world. They put their own print on it, they resell it, and then it's flawed. Um, and irregardless of who manufactured the shirt itself, there should be some accountability there from the person who sells me the shirt personally. With East Coast Cotton, there's obviously no accountability. And guys, you guessed it, this is gonna be a negative review. And I've only got a few of them on my channel, but here's the deal. I'm hoping that one honest, honest review, I'm going to be honest, one honest review and my loss of almost 30 bucks on a t-shirt, and I'll still wear the thing, but should I have to wear it with holes in it? No, I shouldn't. Um, but I hope it just saves one of my subscribers. One of you guys out there, maybe you've been considering buying from East Coast Cotton, maybe you have in the past, and now you're going you're gonna to hear this and you're going to go, I don't think I'm going back there again. If just one of you guys... Uh, stay away from there. I feel vindicated and I feel like it was a good investment to help somebody else out. So uh, hopefully two, three, 10, 50 of my subscribers don't buy from East Coast because um, honestly guys, the, the customer service is horrendous. It's horrendous. So at the top of their, their uh, page, try our premium shirts. They look and feel amazing. We guarantee you will not be disappointed. That's not a very good guarantee because I was disappointed and I was basically told to go pound sand uh, because it was outside of their whatever 30 day money back guarantee. And so if I look at the bottom of their website, it says uh, in the FAQ uh, section, do your products come with a warranty? It depends on a product, their answer. It depends on a product, but in general, East Coast Cotton does not issue warranty on its products. It's best to work directly with the manufacturer. So again, there's no accountability with a company like this. They sell, they buy a shirt, they print it, and then they turn around and resell it. And then they say, hey dude, that's yours. It has holes in it, get a hold of Gildan. We don't care. Um, not cool. So I'm gonna show you something that is not at the bottom of their website now. I'm gonna let you guys see. That's their actual website now. Today when I logged on, I didn't during vacation for obvious reasons because I just didn't care. 
But I'm going to show you a screenshot I took on March 28th. And I did this, I just had a feeling. I did it for a reason. This is the bottom of their website on March 28th. And notice right up there, <clears throat> unhappy with your product, we'll take it back. A 90-day warranty. We stand behind their products, basically. Uh, we stand by our high-quality products, and your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed now guys that was on march 28th and i'm going to show you this is the bottom of the website now that's no longer there on any page if i go to their home page it doesn't matter it's not on there anymore so i did tell them i told them at east coast i was going to do a review on my youtube channel so this will be no shock when i email this review to them and when i post it on their facebook page as well and uh, hopefully it keeps people away from their from their uh, crap products and horrendous customer service and uh <clears throat> guys, if you're anything like me, I've been to restaurants before even where the food was decent, but the service was excellent. And so I go back. I've been to places where the food was great and the service was very poor or it was unclean. And uh, I don't want to go back. There's something about taking care of people. Um, for example, kind of off subject, but it fits. Um, flying to Tampa, uh, I took my firearm I checked it in my luggage and of course your TSA screen and you look inside your bag and they can check your, you know, your, your uh, um, uh, gun case and everything. And so I told the TSA agent, uh, she looked like she hated her job, but I said, hey, and I meant this sincerely. I said, I appreciate what you guys do. You keep us safe and I know you don't hear that a lot, but thank you. She got the biggest smile on her face and was just so thrilled that somebody would say that. And, and I was genuine with it and I meant it. And so... Um, just words like that, customer service, taking care of people can go a long way, guys. So anyway, stay away from East Coast cotton, terrible products, terrible customer service. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, be safe. Take care.